If you have your Bibles, you want to read with me, go to the book of James. I've got a few scriptures I want to read. I've got a couple of places, but I'm going to read here now. I try to read in the other place later. But the book of James in chapter 1. Hallelujah. When you have it, say amen. 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 James chapter 1. And verse 1. And the Bible says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered aboard, greedy. My brother, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptation. Amen. Knowing this, that the train of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. If any man lacketh wisdom, any man of God that giveth to all men liberty, and upbraid him not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavered is like the waves of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Amen. Well, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich and that he is made low. Because as the flowers of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat. But it wither the grass and the flowers there falleth, and the grace of fashion of it perish. So also shall the rich man fadeth away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt him, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. Give the Lord a hand, would you? Y'all ready for a word today from the Lord? God gave me this message a few days ago, and I'm telling you, it's been a burning in my spirit. Because God knows what we have need of. And the Bible says in verse 8, this is where I want to preach to. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. And I just want to preach a little bit. Look over at somebody and say, Being stable will make you able. Being stable, Being stable will make us able to be able to do what? Be able to stand in the triumph that we're living in today. And we know that, that, that the Bible just got through it telling us that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. He said, for the not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. And I was thinking, you know, this week how so many people seem like today they'll be up and tomorrow they'll be down. They'll come out to the house of God and they'll shout the shoe heels off today, but tomorrow they're ready to go and throw a party with the drums. And now you tell me, is that, is that unknown? Is that unstable? Uh, uh, that sounds to me like that they are double-minded, don't you? Uh, uh, but I believe that God is wanting the people in this hour uh, uh, that say, Lord, I want to be stable in the Word of God. Uh, uh, Sister, I have that I was uh, meditating upon this Word. Uh, and I was uh, thinking, you know, Lord, uh, uh, the Bible said that our righteous is uh, as filthy rags. You know, uh, if we ain't built upon the Word of God, uh, I'm afraid that we're not going to be able uh, uh, to be stable in the hour that we're living in because he said that heaven and earth is going to pass 
to win. But my word is going to abide forever. And I begin to wonder and I begin to meditate how so many times that we hear so many traditions of men, the doctrines of men, and they get up and they preach their ideals. And the word don't even back it. But you know what? That's not going to make you be able to understand. It's not going to cause you to be stapled in the word of God. Because the Bible says that my righteousness is as filthy rags. Hallelujah. They'll get up and they'll tell you everything. I remember as a child growing up, how they used to say that everything, everything that we would do that would send us to hell. But you know what? That was the righteousness. And I look at the day, the ones that ain't dead, but they're doing everything that they preached 25 years ago. And they were saying, now they're going, what's wrong? But they're double minded. But they ain't built upon the Word of God. And Brother Lee, they would say, if you've got a television in your house, you're going to hell. But you know what? That's tradition of me. That makes the Word of God not a thing. If you ain't got enough, the Holy Ghost in your life. And they get up and walk over time off the filthy person of the adulterous booty of all of these fornications. We need to go back to the order and say, God, give me something. And we'll make me be able to be standing in the air that we live in. But you know what? They used to talk about all the cigarettes and all the packers. But church, I want to tell you something right now that the word of God don't back up. And you better let it go. Some of these things may be wrong, but thank God, I want to be able, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Good for you. Oh, and they used to preach on cigarettes and bridges and everything else. And now here they are doing what's your home. They're double-minded. A church today, we need to get a word of the word of God. It's being preached with the anointing. We better believe it. When Joshua and Caleb went over into the promised land, and they come back, the other ten had an evil report. What's wrong? I tell you what's wrong. They're not stable. They're not stable in the Word of God. And if God said it, I believe it. He said that they know if and for the gift of self prosper. Hallelujah. If God said I can make it to heaven, and Brother Dale, I can make it. If I get in the Word of God, a sister can you begin to read the Word of God. I tell you, a lot of these preachers are up preaching things that they don't have no Bible for. If I can stand before you and preach you the Word of God, I don't need to have a mic in my hand telling you a some tradition of man, a son that's going to cause you to fall. What's wrong with America? They care so much. A religion so much talk to men. That's why the Word of God is in a shape that it's in. And that's why when you can turn on the TV, you just not taking a gun, the blow of that head off. But this is the wrong of this one. What's your wrong? The wrong table. You're not getting the true word of God. You're making me able to stand. The church, I want to tell you something today. There's a devil on our trail. He wants us to be a double minded. He don't want you to be stable in the word of God. The more that we can be able to do anything that the word says. We gotta be stable. We gotta be in the word. We gotta have our roots down in the word of God. Yeah. Here they was. The Bible said that he told them, I'm gonna take you to a land that's flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. And I'm going to show you something. And the Bible says and that they went over into the promised land. There was 12 of them. And they was they was told to go in and search out the people. See what kind of ground they had. What kind of fruit was there. What, what was in that promised land. And Brother Lee in the Bible says and that they went into the promised land. And here they come back out with the report. But they was 10 and brought back an evil report. 
Uh, do you follow me what I'm saying? Uh, uh, here was ten uh, uh, that was unstable. Uh, uh, uh -huh. When God done told them that they could have it, uh, uh, they was ten trying to discourage uh, uh -huh. everybody else uh, yeah. that we're not going to be able to make it. The uh, uh, church of God said it. Uh, I believe it, don't you? Uh, uh, they ain't a devil in hell. Uh, uh -huh. I believe that to stop me uh, uh, from walking down the street of gold. Uh, and God said, I'll be for you. Uh, uh, he can be against you. Uh, but there was only two that sent the people down. That said that we are more. We are more than able. A church, we are more than able. If we get settled in the word of God, we'll be able to walk down on the street of gold. Brother Lee, I want to be stable, don't you? In the word of God. The church of a church, we serve God. And that's been on the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God that chained them not. I thank God today that my roots is in the Word. It's kind of like an old big tree up there standing on the hill. I look at some of them and I'm sure that other brothers have too. We all looked at that old big tree. And brother Lee and I stand and I look up at it. And I think if this tree could only talk, what kind of stories could it tell you about the storms? If it could talk, Stood there for hundreds of years, Brother Lee. They don't grow up that big. Five and six and seven foot through for the overnight. And that takes a while for that tree to get that big. But Brother Dale and I begin to think how that God is liking us so much like trees and things. And that old big tree, you'll stand there and you'll look at it and it looks so tall. And you'll thank God. If this tree could talk, I wonder how many how many storms that blew against and tried to blow it over. But you know why? That big tree stood like it did. It's not because the type of the tree it was. It's because its roots had went down into the earth. And not only into the earth, but down into the rock. I've seen them, the standing, and that you look at them, you say, How in the world is that tree is standing? I'd like to be able to look at some of us today. How in the world are they standing? Well, I'm going to tell you how that you are standing. He said, I am the rock of the storm. I was disallowed of the building. That's how we are standing. We got our roots down in the world.
day the altar is not open to the Holy Ghost prayers and seekers. I tell you, church, we better have the right thing. We better have the Holy Ghost before He returns back to this earth. You might be a saint preacher. What are you saying? Well, I'm just going to tell you what the Bible says. He said, except you be born again, the one and other spirit, you are no wise in our in. That's the Word of God. It'll make you be able to stand against the power of the hell. The Lord knows that we need something that will help us to stand against these spirits that are coming at our minds. But the tradition of men is not going to matter. I see so many folk that used to run. They used to have a testimony for God. Yes, they did. But you know what happened? They fell along the wayside. But they weren't settled in the Word of God because some preacher told them, Brother Lee, that they didn't have to have the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you, that's what makes us able to stand. That's that Holy Ghost. The Bible says this. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Oh, oh, that's right. He said, you shall cast out devils. You shall speak in new tongues. You shall take up serpents. I'm not talking about rattlesnakes. He said, you shall, if you drink any daily thing, it shall not hurt you. He said, you shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall walk. They shall recover. And that's what my Bible tells me. And the Bible tells me that Brother Lee, when they come out of that upper room, and they have something to sell them. And the devil had to move over to the left. He had to move over to the right. And because here comes a man that was casting out devils. And here comes some that was speaking with new tongues. And they were laying hands on the sick. And the devil had to leave. And because they was able a wild preacher yes. because they got settled in that upper room. Yes. The church, if we don't carry and get that Holy Ghost in our eye, I'm afraid of what's coming upon this land. We'll never be able to stand. I thank God because I'm not a build upon a chill behind. I'm not built upon a goose I'm built upon the living word of God. A son that makes me able to look at the devil and say, hey, get thee behind me, Satan.
through him that loved us. Now Paul was saying, listen what he said. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angel nor principalities nor powers or things present or things to come, neither height nor death or any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's to me like somebody that's settled on you. I believe we want to go forth and we want to do everything to take done. But we're so wishy-washy, we're so double-minded, huh? and God can't use us. It's nobody's fault but my own. Huh? If God is not using me, huh? I keep pointing at you and saying, you're the one. Huh? But Paul was stable. Huh? He was able to go to huh? and cast out the devil. Do you know why? Huh? Because Paul was settled in the Word of God. Huh? We want to be used of God, huh? but we're not able. Huh? We're not settled. Huh? I want to be settled in the Word of God. Huh? Yeah, when Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego you go. And when the devil come out town, I said, if you don't bow down and worship me, I'm going to go to your hide in the furnace. And you know what they said? We're able. If God don't deliver us, I know that he's staying real. I'm not settled. I don't care what he spoke to me. A church, if we don't hear the voice of God, we need to be again the hold of the horn of the altar and say, God, help me to be stable in this town that we live but they would not bow down because they were settled yes. in the word of God. Brother Lee, before we can get anything in God, we're going to have to be able, we're going to have to be settled in the word. We're going to have to look at these mountains and say, God, help me and give me strength to cry. I'm going to back it down. I'm going to give it up. And when so well, we can come to that conclusion in our lives, that's a pretty good sign that we're settled. We're not going to bow down to you, King. We're not going to bow down. You may take my life. Where the God delivers or not, I'm still going to believe it. That's selling me right. The table stable, not to you. And the Bible says that the old King gave a command. I want you to, I want you to heat this thing up. Hotter than it's ever been. Because we got some rebellious that we're going to call in the furnace of fire. Come on. The devil will love the destroy every one of us. Huh? But you know why that he can't? Huh? Oh, we're settled in the Word. Uh -huh. He can't overthrow uh, the Word of God. Uh, the Bible said that heaven and earth are going to pass away, but my words is going to die. Amen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Uh, what a God that we have. Uh, it will just only be uh, settled in the Word. Uh, Sister Joyce, uh, when they took him up, uh, they took them over there and they put them in that furnace of fire. I guess who was in there already? They were the king of kings. The Lord of the Lord who was right in there with them. Don't worry about the threat of the devil. It's time that the church and get saved. We can be settled in the word of God. We can't go to the fire because they were not settled enough in God's word. The let God use us. Sister Lana to show the devil that he still got a church. I believe that he got one, don't you? That's called by his name. Yes. That he purchased with his own blood. Brother Lee, I'm looking forward to making the heaven and you. I've got so much to look forward to. But the Bible says that when they go in that furnace of fire, and there sits that old king probably right there on the, on the front bench. And he come out there. He said, did not we throw three in that furnace of fire? He said, yeah, okay, we throw three in there. He said, but I see four. I see four in there. And the fourth one is like a two. the son of man. And they need me home, don't you? And they help me be settled in the word of God. And every town that I'm in, I can see Jesus. And can't you? And we settled, church, in the word of God. And that's why that we can speak to the devil and tell him get behind me. And mother me, that's why that we're able to keep on pressing on. It's because we settled in the mighty word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being settled will make you able. It'll make you be able to stand. 
He'll cause you to go over top of the mountains. He'll cause you to go through the valleys. And Lord knows that we got a lot of valleys and mountains we got to go through. <laughs> we got so, we got so much to look forward to. Being able, being able to make it to heaven is going to be worth everything. But I can't go on man's traditions. You'll never be able to stand on religion. Religion will fill you, church. It'll cause you to be miserable. Amen. I remember when I was just a young Christian. <coughs> me and Pat would go to church. And Sister Abby, they would tell us what we could do and what we couldn't do. They made you so miserable, but the lady that you hate to see church time come. I'm serious. I'm going to tell you what's the truth. Why? Because of their tradition. Right. He makes the word of God not affect the Bible says. Amen. It causes us to be miserable. Yes, it does. It causes us to be unhappy. Amen. And it causes you to be down more than you're up. Amen. But thank God somebody is calling an order of God that will give us a word that will cause us to be stable in the word of God. I want to be stable, don't you? How many wants to be stable in the word of God? I tell you, today we serve a God that loves his brother and brother. Did you wait for that promise? 25 years. That's how long he waited for Isaac come along. He stood on that promise. Now when God spoke to him, he said, I want you to take Abraham, Isaac upon the mountain. I want you to offer him up as a sacrifice. I don't believe Abraham went up to him and said, Now God, now you promised me this son. Now now here, here well, it, was that you told me that? Or was that... Uh, my, my own flesh telling me that. But what's that the devil telling me that? I believe that Abraham knew that God spoke that to him. Don't you? And that's why he was able uh, to go upon the mountain. You know what he said? Uh, he told his servants to stay here uh, with the asses of uh, uh, me and the lads going yonder to wash up. Uh, and we will return. I believe that we were coming out. I took out the crowd. Uh, I believe that no life would have come right back into it. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, he was able to do that because he was settled. Uh, before that we can cash down on the first day of all, and we're going to have to be settled in the yes. word of God. And before that we can see the sea killed, and we're going to have to be settled in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Abraham's anger known at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in what? Faith. Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's what the Bible says. And, and Brother Lee and I was thinking about how, how that the disciples went throughout uh, the city of Jerusalem. Never worth that they went. Uh, uh, they went through there uh, uh, healing the sick. They went through our casting out devils. Uh, uh, they went through there doing exactly what God told them to do uh, uh, because they was able to do this uh, uh, because they were settled in the word of God. Uh, uh, now I begin to thank God. Uh, uh, you know how that we want to uh, be used of God. Uh, uh, sure there ain't a one of us in this building today uh, that wouldn't like for God uh, uh, to use us to cast out the devils uh, uh, in our families. Uh, and Lord knows uh, I've got plenty of them in my family. Uh, uh, Sister Abby, uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, I can be able uh, if I'm settled in the Word of God uh, uh, because uh, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, there's no weapon formed against you uh, uh, shall prosper. Uh, if God be for us, 
church, uh, uh, we could be against us. Uh, hey. If we got the word of God on our side, uh, uh, we ought to be settled. Uh, uh, Brother Robert, uh, I can walk up to any devil uh, and tell him he's got to go. Uh, uh, why won't we do it? Uh, uh, why ain't we able? Uh, because we're not settled uh, in the word of God. Double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. That's what my Bible tells me. He said the double-minded man, there ain't no need for him to think that he's going to receive anything of God because he's not settled. He'll never be able to see. Sister Hattie, I can remember down a few years ago how that how that they used to be on fire for God. And they used to tell you well, what you're doing is wrong is going to send you to hell. But you know what? I didn't need the Holy Ghost in. I had them telling me what I need to do. What's wrong? We're trying to tell everybody else how to live. And when we settled ourselves, we only one thing today, something else tomorrow. And that's double minded. We'll never receive what the good book says until we're settled in the Word of God. Yeah. Yes, I know we're going to have preachers to tell us uh, uh, some things uh, some things uh, that, that we need uh, uh, somebody to tell us and enlighten us on some things uh, and when they hear it was in that chair uh, uh, he was sitting there and he was reading uh, he couldn't understand it uh, and the man of God come in uh, and by the name of Philip I said uh, uh, do you understand uh, what you read it uh, he said how can I except some man uh, other words tell me uh, uh, yeah we're going to have a preacher uh, or we're going to have teachers uh, and there's a Bible ministry uh, and that needs to be a work in, in our lives uh, uh, to make us to be able uh, uh, to be settled in the Word of God uh, uh, be unable uh, uh, will make you stable. Amen. 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 What if Daniel wasn't stable? What if Daniel when they threw him in that lion's den what if he said God this is it for me. He was able to go in that lion's den without a fight. I don't believe they had to run him down. I don't believe they had to tie his legs and drag him. I believe that he walked over and he jumped right in our sister Joyce. Why? Because he knew the God that he served was able to deliver him. Every storm that we go through, we're going to have to have the mind of God. And God, I know that you ain't going to let this man destroy me. And the devil don't want to kill some of us because he knows we're going to heaven. He don't want to kill us, Brother Robert. He just want to make us miserable. He tried to make our life miserable. But thank God, if I'm find the pearls of hell, from the time I get up, until I go to bed, I'm going to sing me a song. A joy is coming in the morning. A weeping may endure for the night. I'm a greater than he. And that's in you. And then he that's in the world. A church, we ought to be settled. We ought to be able to go through the storms with fine colors. We have the word of God. Double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. I've seen him be up today and down the mountain. I've seen God sweep in and the Spirit of God would move over the sick ones and heal them and the mar. They'll say, well, I never felt a thing. No wonder you're not settled in the Word of God. we got to get settled before that we can receive the benefits of the Word of God. Up today, speaking victory today, and the Lord was speaking doubt. We ain't going to receive nothing. The only thing that we're going to get is a battle from the pit of hell. We're going to have this hurting. We're going to have all these trials come our way and discourage us because we're not settled in the Word of God. But Brother Lee, you know what I was thinking? I said, Lord, help me to be you to view in the time that we before that I can be stable I'm going to have to, before I can be able to be used of God, I'm going to have to be stable, Sister Joyce. I can't uh, say one thing today. In the mall, you see me, and then I'm speaking doubt. No, sir. That ain't the faith that Abraham had. No, sir. My mom will tell me, and God is dealt to every man a measure of faith. The church is time that we get upon our knees and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, I feel up our most holy faith. Why is this church system a failing day? It's because they're not
come on their knees. I pray for the Holy Ghost. I trust today we're going to have it. You better have it. You better get it while you can. Because you're going to need it. The devil's laying away with you somewhere down the road. And he's going to want to send you as well. James and John and Paul and all these fine prophets of God, these apostles, the Bible says that they would go throughout and they would preach the word of God and and the Bible says that by the hands of the apostles were many signs uh, and wonders worked among the people. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, uh, these men was here uh, and they were able to do this uh, uh, because they were stable in the Word of God. Uh, and when God told them to go forth uh, and preach the gospel to every creature, uh, uh, that's exactly what they done. Uh, uh, here's that little man, uh, uh, Brother Lee, uh, uh, that they brought and sent him to the temple, uh, uh, the, the gate of the temple, uh, and everybody who they would come in. Uh, and they would ask all time. But here come two men that was able to look at him and say, A silver and gold have I none. Why was they able? Because they were stable in the Word of God. And they knew that God was using them greatly. And the Bible says that this little man, he went into his feet and he went throughout the temple adoring God, leaping and praising God. And because somebody was able to and because they were stable uh, at church today. Uh, and before we can receive what God has, we're going to have to be stable. Amen. Amen.